What's going on guys, Mixed here, back again for another mocktail. And today's mocktail is the non-alcoholic gin and tonic. It's low calories and I really, really recommend it. It's very refreshing, simple to make, and I will show you guys how to make it. So get your gin glass, which is a balloon glass, and add ice to it. So I'm going to pour in Gordon's Gym 50ml, which is 1.7 ounce, which overall is 6 calories. It's very low calories. That's the best thing about mock sounds. Beautiful. And now we just add the tonic water. So I'm using a low, a low calorie tonic water. I am using... A vibe, if you must use it, it's got to say it's low calories, no added sugar, no artificial flavourings in it. It's very low calories. So it's three calories to 250 ml. So overall, this is one litre bottle, this is a one litre bottle, 12 calories. It's got to say I'm going to add in 150 ml, which is just short of two calories. So overall, this cocktail is going to be less than 10 calories. Look how clear that is. Look how clear that is. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? And the final thing to do now, guys, is garnish it with two lime slices. Beautiful. And it's as simple as that. It's a really simple cocktail. You cannot go wrong with a gin tea, but this is a non-alcoholic version. Absolutely stunning. That's that's a beautiful take. There we have it, my friends. A non-alcoholic gin and tonic. How does it taste? Beautiful. Because so I think with the tonic water, like saying that with the non alcoholic gin, it's a bit more sweeter. It's a nice sour cocktail, that famous G and T taste that you can taste. Like I said, the tonic water gives it that nice sour taste. Because so like I said, the non alcoholic gin is quite sweet, especially with sweeteners. It's a little bit different to your normal gin, but the but the tonic water just bounce it out. It's gonna say if you don't like tonic water, if it's a bit more too sour, do substitute it with lemonade or any soda or any soda. Because say as I know some people it's not as I know not everyone likes it like that. It's gonna say it's an acquired taste it is. But I like it. I think this is a very, very refreshing mocktail. I think you should try it. The non-alcoholic gin and tonic is less than 10 net calories, so it's perfect for January. It's gonna say, and if you are slimming down for January. This is a drink for you, less than 10 calories. You can still enjoy your favorite drinks without the alcohol. Perfect. Ah, beautiful. I just can't get enough of it. It's because it's really, really refreshing. It's beautiful. It's because I think that's one of the best mocktails I've tasted like that. It's because it still has that familiar, familiar taste of a classic gin tea like that. The nice sour taste with the tonic water with gin. It's beautiful. What do you guys think? Have you ever had a non-alcoholic gin tea? Do let me know. Or any non-alcoholic gin mocktails that you want me to make? Do let me know in the comments as I'm as I want some feedback off you guys. Do let me know what you want to see for dry January. Any mocktails you recommend? And this has been the non-alcoholic gin and tonic. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I've been mixed it, and this has been the non-alcoholic version of the gin and tonic. Because I don't forget to like and subscribe to mix it, as it really does help the channel grow. So I do appreciate your support, and I will see you guys for my next mocktail video. Cheers.